a former University of Washington researcher, is spending this Thanksgiving on the other side of the world. Albert Pence is one of more than 200 cyclists spending the year 2000 pedaling their way around the globe. Pence says he's thankful he made the trip because, among other things, he claims it shaved 20 years off his life. Former Como reporter Sharon Dennis is also on that journey and sent us this special report from China. There are motorbikes and buses and people and more people. People who don't seem to slow down in China's busy cities. They are the cities Albert Pence has spent the last couple of weeks slowly pedaling his way through. Easy to get lost? Uh, for the first 18 kilometers, it looks like uh, it should be easy. Albert is 80 years old. 80. Hello. He's been on his bicycle practically every day this year. Did I tell you he's 80? I now actually feel like I'm about 60. I, I feel that way. I know that it's not true, but, but I feel that way. Happy birthday to you. But earlier this year, in Germany, Albert celebrated his eighth decade. Does the fire marshal look better? <laughs> this retired University of Washington researcher signed up to ride around the world five years ago after he read about the year-long trip in a Seattle newspaper. I had friends that say, you'll never make it. You'll fall off a cliff. You'll have a heart attack. A gorilla will beat you up. <laughs> So far, he's only suffered a few bumps and bruises along the way. And along the way, he's managed to inspire riders who routinely pass him each day. It looks a little rainy. I think I'll put on a jacket. <laughs> Albert may not be very fast. He may not finish the day's ride, but he always starts every morning on his bike, no matter the weather. I am really impressed by his self-reliance. He gets up every morning, gets out there on the bike, comes in at night, puts up his own tent, carries his own bags. It's really been an inspiration to each and every one of us. You ask him how he's doing, and he's Oh, I'm doing great, you know, just fine. I mean, it's, it's great, just amazing. Hello. I came to ride and find out something about myself and uh, get as strong as I could. And riding every day, at least starting every day, is, is the basic thing to me. You have a good day. <laughs> yes, I did. It's one of the best days, huh? Yes, absolutely. It's maybe the best day of the rest of my life. <laughs> Albert says even at his age, there are still things to learn about himself and to learn about the people he passes in the countries he's been. Like Chinese school kids excited to see the cyclists from the West, the way people in this country and others live and work. But as much as there is to learn, Albert also knows enough to teach a few things. If you slow down, it'll make you grow old, not the other way around. Growing old doesn't make you slow down. Slowing down makes you grow old. So I'd say don't slow down. Keep moving. Okay. Hello. Hello. Albert may not ride very fast, but he keeps moving. He knows he still has plenty of places to go. In China, Sharon Dennis, Como 4 News. What an experience. Great adventure. Yeah. They started at the Rose Bowl Parade January 1st, right. and they're supposed to end at this year's Rose Bowl yeah. Parade. Yeah, just got January an email 1st. from Sharon in Vietnam. Yeah, what a trip. Yeah. Hey, it's time to check back with Steve Poole. <laughs> Sitting at home.